Very good morning, friends. Myself, Professor M. H. Chanaya. And in today's video, we will learn how to construct a regular hexagon of side 30 mm. Then one might ask me, what is the need to know the need to know to construct this hexagon? Friends, if you are a student of engineering or a science student, you need to know how to construct a thin surface having the shape of a hexagon because this is the prerequisite to construct a pyramid of hexagon base, hexagonal base, a prism of hexagonal base or a lamina of hexagonal base. So friends, here we need to draw or need to construct a regular hexagon of say 30 mm when one of the side is horizontal. So in all these engineering problems that is on the projection of lamina or a prism or a pyramid, uh, we need to write the hexagon in some of the cases when the side is horizontal, when the side is vertical in some other cases. So let us see how to construct the hexagon when one of the side is horizontal. Friends, for this, the side is given to us. So I am going to draw a horizontal line, say AB, measuring 30 millimeter. That is the side given is 30 mm. And I am writing this line horizontal because one of the lines should be horizontal. One of the edges should be horizontal. Friends, now you know for a hexagon, there are six number of sides. So the exterior angle will be 360 by 6. That is 60 degrees. That is friends, at A and B, I am going to draw two lines. Two lines at A and B. And these lines are inclined at an angle of 60 degrees to the horizontal. This is an exterior angle. This is also 60 degrees. Or this angle will be 120. That is 180 minus 60. This is 120. Friends, we have got two lines drawn at A and B at an angle of 60 degrees to the horizontal. Friends, next. We know the side of this hexagon that is 30 mm taking center A and radius equal to 30. I am going to draw an arc to cut this line and say this is A, B, C, D, E, F. This point is going to be F. AF is the second side. And similarly at the point B, taking B as center and length is equal to 30 mm, I am going to draw another arc. This point will be point C and friends you have got three points now that is three sides of the pentagon now friends we need to get three more sides so there are so many methods the simplest method is you draw a vertical line through this point a, a vertical line through here and again another vertical line through this point that is from A and B you draw vertical lines so friends, taking F as center and radius equal to 30 millimeter, you just draw an arc to cut this here. This is going to be the third side, 1, 2, 3. This is going to be E. E of is the third side. Similarly friends, if you draw it a horizontal through this, this will meet the vertical drawn through B at this point D. So we got four sides now. One, two, three, four. And here this is our fifth side. Friends, if you join C to D, you get the last side. So A, B, C, D, E, F is the required hexagon when one of the sides A, B is horizontal. A, B, is horizontal.
and friends to check whether the solution you have got is right or wrong. If you draw a horizontal line through this, it should pass through C. This you can have as a check. Friends, I hope this was interesting. And if you like this video, do share. And before we conclude this session, let us have the second case when one of the side of the hexagon is vertical. So I will say case 2 or case B when this side or an edge is vertical. So it has got a length equal to or side equal to 30 mm. So friend, let us go ahead with the construction. So I just write a vertical line, one of these sides. And I will call this as A and B. So AB is one of the sides of the hexagon which has got a measurement equal to 30. And this side AB is vertical. AB vertical. Friends, the exterior angle is 60, that is 360 by 6 is 60. So friends, from this vertical line, I am going to write a line here, inclined at an angle of 60 degrees to this AB. So here I know the side as 30, take A as center, 30 millimeter as radius to strike an arc on this line, to cut this line and we will have this point. Similarly friends, at the point B also, you can have a line drawn at an angle of 60 degrees to the vertical here and this will, this again, taking B as center, radius equal to 30 millimeter, you write an arc. So you will get the third side, side 1, side 2, side 3. This is going to be side C. Friends, now to get the remaining three sides, let us follow the procedure that we have followed for the hexagon when one of the sides was horizontal. Friends, you have A here, you have this side, and taking this point as the center, radius equal to 30 millimeter, strike an arc. This will meet this horizontal drawn through A at this point. So friends, this will give you the fourth side of the figure. Side AB is vertical and from this point, if you write a vertical line, it will meet here. So you have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Join these two. Friends, this is how we get the hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F and having each side measurement of 30 millimeter when one of the side of the hexagon is vertical and friends if the construction is correct if you draw a vertical line through F it should pass through this C and again the perpendicular bisector of A, B or that of E, D should be horizontal and parallel to this. That is, if you write a what horizontal line through this, it should divide ED into two, com two parts, equal parts. Friends, this is how we construct the regular hexagon when one of the side is vertical. Friends, if you like this video, do share with your friends. Have a wonderful day.